Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Kicking off the week with another Monday grind. Uh, now I'm trying out some new microphone settings today. I've tried to put noise suppression and stuff on there. I'm pretty sure I've got the settings right. It took a while, uh, but if for some reason it's cutting out or it sounds like absolute garbage, that's why we'll try and get it right. Now today's show, we've got some real loud, crazy noise bands on the channel, anti-music. Uh, this stuff isn't going to be for any, everyone. Uh, very difficult listening, but we like to give it a spin on the Monday grinds because it's all about extreme music music on a Monday uh, and you know kicking the sleep out your eyes and all the rest of it well this music's going to do that nicely and the first band we're going to go to check out is sent over a priority sub which is dope uh, we don't often get that on the Mondays this is atrocious mitochondrial engorging which is a right mouthful to say uh, we've had this guy on the channel before making some super noisy loud almost like interlude music I thought last time but what he said to me was he was just trying to make the shortest EP in existence uh, I'm not sure I think Napalm Death have already done that well they've still got the shortest track haven't they um, but yeah he's just trying to make a short blast of energy noise uh, I think it's cool he said here uh, Critty my newer work well we can do that no problem this is uh, See You In The Mosh let's give it a spin <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that. I thought he, could, he did a dope one with this one. The sound came together. It was harsh, but it wasn't kind of too harsh on the ears. It actually sounded good. Um, and I, what I like about this one is that he had the he actually had a track and a song playing in the background there, and it was just ridiculously pumped up and distorted and made crazy. But because of that, it kept a structure to it. A lot of noise stuff can just be kind of very, you know, there's no beat, there's no kind of pulse to it, and it's just pure noise. I struggle with that stuff because I'm always looking for the beat, I'm always looking for the pulse in it to kind of move your body with the sounds. This stuff is ridiculously noisy and loud, but actually got a nice beat and pulse to it and grind to it that, yeah, you can bop along with it, but still just get absolutely kind of pummeled by the distortion and the loudness and the sound of it. So I thought they did a nice job on this one. The sound was harsh, but in a good way. Um, now, the only thing I was thinking that would, would have made it cooler for me was the vocal. I like the sound and the distortion and all the rest of it, and st uh, of that st side of it. But I think it would have, because the there was a st structure to the song, and it moved from section to section. I think it would have been cool to have a little bit more structure to the vocal as well and have a bit more sections within that uh, and work with the beat and the, and the track that's actually playing there because it was kind of like the vocal was just random over the top. That's cool, but it would be nice as well to get it to lock in with the beat and lock in with the music that's behind it uh, and create a roar with it in that way. But yeah, I enjoyed this one a lot. I thought it had a good sound, real great energy, loud, max, out but still with a beat and a bop that you can get into nice job keep sending over your music we'll keep checking it out now this is a new band to the channel crack dealer all the bands we've got today are just crazy loud this one's called lie in me let's check it out oh, oh, 
I like that kind of vocal. Kind of caveman stuff. Cool. Thinking outside the box, different kind of stuff. Now I will say, maybe it was just because the first track was absolutely maxed out as loud as it will go, but I would have liked this one to actually be a bit louder and a bit more distorted. So crank it up, guys, because if you're going to make this kind of music, you want it to come with that ridiculous kind of power and energy through the music as well. Enjoyed it, though. Now, we've had these guys before on the channel. Oh, God, these are a crazy band. I think this one's kind of gore grindy in its way. This one's called Trampled Carrion. Uh, and watch out. It's got a... Oh, this one's got a video of a lot of people who are very, very high on some kind of drug, bath salts or something. So if that's going to be, you know, triggering for you in any way, that's what they in there in is in this video. So there you go. Jesus. Philadelphia. Wow, what is going on in Philadelphia? It looks like the zombie apocalypse, for God's sake. I've never seen a drug that does that to you. They're obviously not just had a bong or something like that. Jesus. Um, man, I've never seen images quite like that, so that was quite shocking to me even. Um, I've seen short clips of people like bent over like that, but not tons and tons of people littering the streets. Jesus. Dope track. Love the snare sound in it. But yeah, I was kind of blown away by that video, man. Jesus. This is Spanky Ham. They're new to the channel. This one's called The Great Mighty Poo. This will kind of cheer us up after the last one. Me, 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 me. I am the great mighty poo. And I am going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of teeth comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? Here we go, these are the gold grind guys.
enjoyed it. Now, you wouldn't think music with this kind of sound, nasty and guttural and just harsh, uh, would have a comedy element to it and a tongue-in-cheek side to it, but it does. These guys are just having a laugh. This is Hong Kong Fuck You. Their track is called Fast Drugs, Slow Death. We've seen that already, haven't we? Bass tone is so fat and thick and wide and just massive. Don't need any guitars when it's that big. It just sounded absolutely huge. Now, this last band we're going to check out. We've checked this guy out before. And I thought, well, we're getting some crazy stuff on today. We might as well have some crazy math core as well. And it doesn't get any more crazy than this. This is a sound that ends creation. I hate ice. I don't even put it in my water. Cool video for this one, looked high quality, which was nice. And music doesn't come much crazier than this in terms of the composition, it's just absolutely mad. He still does a nice job of it live as well. You'd think, man, how could he ever play that live? Because it's just crazy, just making it up as he goes along, surely. But no, it's fully composed and, you know, set out and he practices it and he can play it live. He does one-man band shows live, which is dope. Um, so, yeah, the composition is just absolutely crazy and it's, it's amazing he can even remember how to play it all. 
But what else is pretty crazy about this one? I can't think of another band, especially, you know, a heavy and math core band with this much piano within the, within the music as well. It's actually probably more piano heavy than the guitars or just as much. Um, and as I say, I can't think of another band that does that. Um, and it just gives it a totally different sound, different vibe, piano-y. And, you know, you get all the notes ringing through from the piano as well as the guitar. Uh, so it's like twiddly widdly on the piano. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a kind of original sound to go with the original composition as well, uh, because you just don't hear that kind of piano uh, within heavy music. It's just not really so much people do. So he's definitely thinking out of this box big time with this. <laughs> it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Uh, you're really going to have to be quite mental to get into this level of mental music. Uh, but I dig it just for the fact that they're thinking so far outside the box, creating something new, creating something different, and not just giving us a kind of verse, chorus, verse, chorus. We've heard that a million times track. There you go. Dope. Well, there's six crazy bands to check out. Loud as hell, mental as hell, uh, but still sounding super dope. I think all the bands today have had a nice beat to them where, yeah, they're noisy. Yeah, they're kind of, you know, ear achy, but... They've got a beat. You can get into it. You can bop along to it. You can feel the energy from the drums and stuff like that. So it's done nicely for me. I can get into this stuff. When it's too noisy and it's got no beat, it loses me a bit. But this stuff, I've, been, I've got on board with it all today. All day today. Hope you had a good one today, guys. That's it. Kicked off the week. We've got submissions all for this week already lined up uh, and a bunch of nice stuff as well. So hit the subscribe button if you want to check out Bands Every Day. If you're just here for the grind, we'll see you next Monday. Have a good one. Bye.